Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and my video. I will be reacting to teachers, guest students, GPA, lineup cut. This is going to be interesting. Let's get into this video. In my experience, no. Hello. My name is Elaine and I am a high school English and theater teacher. I teach AP Calculus, AP Physics. AP I've been a substitute teacher for the last five years. What was your GPA back in high school? Oh, two five maybe. My GPA in high school was a 3.4. My GPA in high school was 3.95 or something ridiculous like that. Yeah, I know. I was a professional. What's the clear sign someone's struggling in school? Avoidance, eye avoidance, so they won't look at you. Uh, All right, that's the other day. I had a girl that when you meet her, she comes across as very, very smart. And when you start talking to her, she is not. Today, you're going to match GPA in high school students. Something you nervous at all? Yes. It just makes me nervous because I'm judging students that I've never had in my class. We're gonna hand you a clipboard with the numbers on it. Okay, let's see how this goes. We've got everything okay. from a 1.5 up to a 4.0. If you had to pick right now, who's your 1.5? Oh, God. Okay. I would guess the guy that... This is gonna be interesting. It looks like a skater. <laughs> Looks like, like a skater, and skaters I've known at my schools typically are not that interested in school. Hey, so what's your name, name, sir? Um, no. What math have you done? Um, number two. When have you learned? What's the last thing you learned in class this week? Don't pay attention. Um, <laughs> <laughs> any subjects you're not a fan of? Oh, you're a Oh, wait, that's not what I teach. Oh. Do you play sports? She's an English teacher. Really? Because you don't, I mean, typically I would have thought a wrestler would have been more bulky. So. What do you plan to do after college? I just want to be a teacher. Okay. If he's after the sports, he's got to do okay in grades, otherwise he'd get kicked off the team. I'm going to say the 3.4. You seem like a pretty like average, middle-of-the-road kind of student. 2.4. 2.4. 2 you don't stand out to me as necessarily a top, top tier student. So that make me dumb or intelligent? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. All it means is that your focus is not towards the academics, right? Okay, like yeah, to, to be a teacher is to work with people, right? It's not to be an uber genius. And that's where uh, something like wrestling, right? Very personal. That's where some teachers yeah, mess up as well. I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Yeah, you seem pretty confident, like. Industry has a style of coach bag, five different ways. This may have to be the most versatile bag I have ever laid my hands upon. Let's try it, Katie. Do you feel like you maybe are a little like a bit of a class clown, perhaps? Class clown. You don't have a class clown, right? Have you ever been on the test? Okay, so it was a uh, weightlifting class. <laughs> I wasn't aware there's a mirror behind me. So I was looking at notes. Jill was yeah, fun in high school. Jill was fun. Certainly so. What's, What's your favorite subject? I really like my uh, woodworking class right now. How did you get into woodworking? One of my career goals is in manufacturing. Do you have any interest in ever going to college? No. I need school, so I'm not going to like college. So what do you mean about high school? Uh, like, it's, it's a full time job, and I'm not getting Right. Okay, I get that. Although, I'm going to be honest, I'm going a, I'm to a keep it like. I'll say it. Wow, I haven't been. I don't miss high school. Never mind. I'm keeping it right. I don't miss high school. When you get to be in your twenties, thirties, things do come up where you go. I can learn how to do this new part of my job if I had done that part way back and built a foundation for my education. Because the biggest thing in education isn't to teach you facts; it's to teach you how to think and problem solve. You got it too. Two point. It just seems like your focus is more on the academics, but more on something that actually sounds really cool, really interesting. Hello, you got a cute outfit on, it's all matching, like your hair is nice. You take some time to get ready in the morning before you go to school. 
Do you have any ideas of what you want to do after school? I'm thinking pre-med right now. Pre-med, pre-med. excited. Pre-med, that's dope, yeah, that's, that's dope. Work. What kind of medicine would you be interested in? Surgery? You'll have to get your nails cut for that. Um, probably, yeah. yeah. What last thing you I'm thinking top two and inch to stats right now. Oh, nice. nice. That's the class really hard. I never even had, I never took that um, class, but I could tell. Sign. Yeah. That, that is a hard thing. I think it's based on the fact that you're interested in pursuing pre med, which is a very competitive field. I'm going to give you 3.8. 3.8. 3.8. Yeah. I just don't see necessarily a confidence level. I see a little bit of the slouching, a little bit of the avoidance of eye contact, a little bit of being quiet. I could totally be wrong by that look that you gave me, which is awesome. You seem pretty relaxed, more alternative, maybe. Does this person present as a high achiever? In my experience, no. <laughs> Students that have in the past that tend towards that style are a little more withdrawn or don't participate as much, or they just like feel like school is my. What's your favorite subject? Favorite subject, favorite subject probably AP literature or AP history. AP literature and AP war history. Let's go. Yeah, I, I think I gave you my lowest score when you came in. Probably yeah, pretty off the mark. Do you have an idea what you want to study after school? Uh, yeah, I really like the arts and pre med. So I'm guessing sciences, math, more your favorite classes? Um, no, it's oh, my favorite, favorite class, is probably my AP lit class. Nice, AP lit. Okay, as an English teacher, that makes me happy to hear. <laughs> you don't come across the 1.5 for sure. So I'm going to give you my 4. 4.0. Pre med, taking advanced classes, you're taking things seriously. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm going to give you 4.5. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Who's your favorite teacher? What do they teach? I'd say my English teacher is Tom. She teaches AP English. And who would you say is yours? Oh, uh. You'll have to say names. Even though they're gonna know. My eighth grade biology teacher. Has that stopped you from taking science classes? Now you're in high school. Sort of, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. What are you reading? We read The Great Gatsby a few months ago, but right now we're just practicing with the AP exam. Okay. I have 1.5 and 2.0 left, and I don't think either of those are right. I'm gonna give you the 2.0. I'd like to be able to give you the 3.4. Who had the 3.4? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I'm not gonna let you switch, but I'm gonna switch to 2.0 anything. I would switch them, yeah. Mm. Not a 4 0. One bad teacher can draw your motivation. 3.4? That's, tr no, that's no. true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, 4.0. What are your extracurricular activities? What do you like to do? I'm a SoundCloud rapper, actually. <laughs> SoundCloud rapper. You wouldn't want to hear those. Maybe not. I know, I know what my daughter listens to, to and I don't like to listen to that either. What has been the most challenging part about school for you? My attendance, because I've like, like gotten sick a lot. That's harder than when you come, come back, it's like trying to get caught up. Teachers don't like it. It's hard, it's kind of a snowball effect. 1.5. Just based on the challenges you said you've had to go through. How do you think you did? Terribly. Show of hands with Chris Gass correctly. Yay, one! Well, at least I got one. You give me a 2.4. Okay. What is your OGP? 2.0. Why was that? Kind of a uh, Especially since he's over, so I don't have to maintain a GPA anymore. Oh. How do parents feel about your GPA? They're not happy. Yeah. They're not happy. yeah. <laughs> I get graded. Okay. Do you feel like you're working your best capabilities? No. But I want better GPA. Yeah, when your grade's not right, your parents will make sure they put you, you can, in, in check. My daughter was in high school. You have to do so your grades kick it back on the track. And, and that's the truth. I had to walk across the college stage to get with her diploma like this. She barely went through high school, but she got to college and she blossomed. So, I think you will. All right, I got you right. I got it correct. But you did. We were going to switch it. I got the impression that you weren't really interested in schoolwork. Yeah, uh, well, I, I did schoolwork. I don't think they want to do it, but I had to do it. Honestly, if it was a 1.5, I wouldn't care. Yeah, don't, don't stress yourself out about making it all perfect all the time. Just kidding. Right. And that's the thing that, that I miss about, like, high school. Like, you can't be perfect all the time. That goes with life. You're not going to be perfect all the time. You're going to make mistakes yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like no yeah, one's yeah, perfect what is your GPA? 4.0 4.0 why do you think i didn't give you 4.0 um 
your comment on my posture really stuck me. That's Has an interesting comment. This great point average caused you a lot of stress or anxiety? Well, in my freshman year, right before the final exam, I was really stressed. I had my first panic attack, and I was like very close to like, keeping that four point out for this year, but I could ruin it also. So if you have it, there's this expectation that you you have to keep it, and if you don't, it was all for nothing. When I love this. I love this video. Day, this video is a good video. About you, right? So you gave me a 4.0, I am the 1.5. I'll say I it the first this time. is the is best video you know, I've reacted to all, all week so far. I wanna say it That's my first time I've ever said this. Great, with the 1.5, how did you get it in colleges? Because usually, that wouldn't, wouldn't cut. I would, I would assume, assume it was the essay I wrote, I'm um, just talking about my background, yeah. and if it wasn't for my test scores, I probably would have been, no, stranded. For me, a 1.5 is either Incapable of getting better grades, you to me obviously are capable, or you just don't apply yourself. And I would guess you don't apply yourself. You got it. Well, apply well, yourself. So that's wrong? a powerful um, statement. The whole reason my GPA is where it's at is because uh, during COVID, COVID, I struggled mentally. I was in and out of mental institutes, and I was never at school, never online for school, and so it drops, dropped my GPA. Are you happier now than you were three years ago? Do you feel like Absolutely. you're in a better place? Absolutely, yeah. Right. I, I totally understand. understand. Good. I totally feel your pain. You're not it's the only good. one that struggled. Bad students that, that fell into, into, into some drug use and things, things like that, that right, to, to cope. And COVID's hard because I'm seeing through a screen. It's like here, it's, it's personal. Like if, if I saw this, you know, I could, you could feel me. Definitely if you need any help. Brothers and sisters, we need your help, and we need it right now. Help us build the For anything, right, school or whatever. I, I'm not a teacher. I know where to go to school, but after this, like, feel free. You know, get my number. I, I can help any of you guys if you need support. And so, you know, I apologize that it hit me so much, but thank you. All right. What, what did, did I give you? you? A 2.0. And what's your actual GPA? 3.8. Yeah, I knew I was wrong when we started talking, but the options were going to be limited. Do you get a GPA because it's just that what you get, or you have to work hard at it? Um, I've worked, worked hard, hard, you know. What, what motivates, motivates you? My mom, really. She's <laughs> like my, my number one support system, just in general, not even school, just life. Your biggest fan? Yeah. Well, go home and give her a hug. I wish I could go home and give my mom a hug. So I gave you a 4.0. What is your GPA? I have 2.4. Are you happy with your GPA? Do you feel like it is a good reflection of your abilities? I mean, I'm not happy with it, but I don't think it shows like how smart I am. Totally. Because I've just never been good at school. It's just not my thing. I don't do my work. I don't pay attention to class. I don't show up to class. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. How do you think your GPA might affect what you want to do in the future? I never thought I wanted to go to college until last year. Everybody started talking about going to college, and I was like, maybe I should go to college. But then I got rejected. <laughs> so, what's your favorite subject? My broadcast media class. It's like um, our school news. I always get good grades in that. I've gotten A's like every year. You're entirely capable of doing whatever you want. Broadcasting? Do it. It's good. How was that experience for you? It's cathartic because I didn't think I would have to talk about the COVID and its effect. I didn't realize that it would affect me. At the end of the day, it's a number that does not define or limit somebody's ability to succeed or to know what they want in life or to have skills. It's just one box that our society tries to put people in, and some people find it easy to fit in that box, and some people don't. That's the way it goes sometimes.